Hello, West Alameda. It's January 1st, 2021. It's the time to give a shout out. It's after seven o'clock. I want to say thank you, shout out, thank you to all the front line and the essential workers, to the doctors and the nurses and the longshoremen, the bus drivers, the truck drivers, the farm workers, those who work in the stores, the cashiers, the postal workers. So please, on the first day of January, the new year, 2021, can I get you to clap your hands, honk your horns, bang your pots and pans, shout, make some noise! <laughs> yeah, frontline workers! All right, thank you! We thank you, we appreciate you! Thank you, frontline workers, yay! Yeah, frontline workers, thank you! All right! Hey, what's going on, Facebook? How y'all doing? Um, it is January 1st. Wireless device. 2001, 2021, this is day 276, and um, out here, yeah, it's a brand new year, gosh, it's weird, it's like doing this 276 days now, and um, wow, so um, it is always... You know, I'm always asking everybody to say prayers and keep in thought all those who have died from coronavirus all over the world. And um, here in the United States, here in California, right here in the Bay Area. So, um, yeah, keep them keep them in prayers and thoughts. Hey, Cynthia, what's going on? How you doing? So, um, you know, it's... Hopefully we, things will get better. The 2021 will be a good, will be better for us. You know, we kick in 2020 to the curb, get rid of it, and let's try to do this all over again. You know, just uh, try to stay safe. How you guys doing? Good, good. You guys stay safe, okay? Be safe out here. But, um, you know, and... Say a prayer, keep in thought all those who have tested positive for COVID-19, those who are in the hospital. I mean, I say the same thing every day, and I don't know, maybe people get tired of hearing me say the same thing every day, but, um, you know, just some things I just feel I have to say. So that's what I'm saying, you know. Um, and I know I tell you guys I need a haircut every day, but that's true, I do need a haircut. But, you know, it is what it is. Um, I, I'm in need of a haircut, but there's people in need of shelter. There's people in need of food. There's people who um, they're in need of medical attention. There's, there's people who are in need of so, much, so many other things, and I'm complaining about not having a haircut or that I need a haircut. So, you know, what I... What I'm... Com Complaining about is nothing compared to what other people are going through, or you know. So I'm, no haircut. Oh well, you know. I just have to do what I gotta do. Um, feeling good. Went out today. Uh, visited my brother. <laughs> we both wore masks. Uh, That's my only brother, Pepito. Um. The only biological brother I have. Hey, Mark, what's going on? Hey, Miss Lori, how you doing? Um, no, so 
you know, 2021 will be a good year, and we're going to make it, and we're going to do what has to be done. Um, Miss Lori, I owe so much to this woman. She was the principal at Chipman Middle School and um, hired me to be a campus supervisor at the same time I was driving a bus, driving a bus at night, working at Chipman in the daytime. And uh, Miss Lori, the principal, she allowed me to to get a program started over there, the Cougar Cadet Corps, the drum line. Had no idea what we were doing, what I was doing, and we got it going. Um, you know, Rico Centron was, and Jelani Dugan, and, and uh, all Regina Harris, and a whole bunch of, I think I had like 15 kids when I first started, and over a 14 year period of time, we had like over a thousand kids join our program over uh, 13 years. So that's pretty good. We had kids that came from other schools besides Chipman. So I'm, I'm feeling really proud of that, but I couldn't have done any of that without Miss Lori giving me the okay and having the faith and confidence in me to do something, which I had no idea what I was doing, but it's all good. Um, my shout out today is for the medical medical workers, the doctors and the nurses. I mean, every day when I give my thank you, my shout out, I always say the frontline workers and the, the doctors and the nurses, but I mean, I want to just say a little bit about what they do. I mean, I I have no idea what they do. I'm, I'm, I've never been a medical, in the medical field. I, um, my daughter-in-law is, is a nurse. Um, I know that uh, Major Lanisha Shakur, she's uh, she's in the army, and she's a, you know she's a medical she's a medical midwife, <laughs> and you know, and she served over there in Afghanistan. Um, Audrina, she she works over in San Francisco as a medical medical staff person. My neighbor across the street, uh, Rhonda, she's a you know nurse, and my son. Hey, he is a he's a nurse up there in uh, Sacramento. There's so many people who are in the medical field who are doing things, and they're being overworked because just like the hospitals down there in Southern California are like packed, and 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 you know they're working full time, and they're I don't even know if they get breaks or what. I don't I don't know how that works, but I just want to give my shout out to them. So let me give my shout out right now. Remember, these are different shout outs in different languages and things. So, my first one is always is Mabuhai because I've been doing the Mabuhai for a long time. Um, and Arthur, I always appreciate the fact that you, you know, <laughs> you always give it back to me whenever you hear it. So, here we go Mabuhai! The next one is Ashe. Ashe is a Yoruba word, which is like kind of like let it be. Ashe! The other one is uh, Robbie told me this is what the Native American, the indigenous people say, which is Hokahe! The other one is Mahalo, which is the islanders. That's like the island stuff, okay? Mahalo! Um, oh, and you know, Kwanzaa, we say Harambe. Harambe is let's pull together, and that's a Swahili word. Harambe! And uh, this one from South Africa is during the time when they were fighting for liberation during apartheid. It was like Harambe, it was like Amandla. Amandla! And then the other one is, uh, <laughs> hey, you know, y'all see Black Panther, saw Black Panther, it's like, Wakanda forever! And then, Viva! You know, that's like, hey, you know, that's like the Latinos, it's like Viva. And then, um, Shalom, okay, that's like peace. The for Hebrews, I, I'm not sure if they if Hanukkah is still going on, but Shalom, Hanukkah, you know, Shalom for uh, for the Hebrew, the, 
the Hebrews, the Jewish people, brothers and sisters, shalom to you. Assalamu alaikum, wa alaikum assalam. Uh, peace be with you. For my Muslim brothers and sisters, and hey, y'all want love. Peace out. And as always, I never want to forget Breonna Taylor, George Floyd, Ahmaud Arbery, Elijah McClain, Andre Hill, Tamir Rice, Andy Lopez, Alejandro Nieto, Guadalupe Ochoa, Oscar Grant, Trayvon Martin, George Steiny Jr., Emmett Till. There's a long list of more people. Uh, but always remember that calling out these names does not mean that I'm being against the police. I'm calling out their names to remind everybody that, you know, there is injustice in this world and that there is police brutality and there is the murder of unarmed black people who, black and brown people who have not done anything. I mean, it's one thing if you robbing a bank, it's one thing if you out there trying to kill somebody and the police have to, you know, do what they do their job. I mean, what is their job? To protect and serve. But they're not protect and serve if they run around killing us and we haven't done anything. So I say their names and I will always say their names to remind people that we have to put a stop to this. So, you know, um, we're fighting to defeat the pandemic that hope that we can get rid of the pandemic, COVID-19. We're also fighting for justice and that's what what we want is we want justice and we want the police to be held accountable. At least that's what I'm saying, what I want. I can't speak for nobody. You know, I can't speak for nobody but myself. But anyway, I'm about to hear. Uh, today is Habaragani. What's the news? The news is Imani. Today is the last day of Kwanzaa. Kwanzaa started on January, December 26th. Today, January 1st, is the last day of Kwanzaa. And... Um, Imani is faith. I also have my, my oldest daughter, Imani. Um, she was named, you know, my oldest daughter is Imani and my youngest daughter is Nia. So two of my daughters have the Swahili names, which are based on the Kwanzaa, the Kwanzaa celebration. So, hey, you guys have a good night. I will be doing the Kwanzaa at eight o'clock tonight be the last of the Kwanzaa for me tonight. Everybody stay safe, stay strong. Please, please wear a mask. Okay, I don't know, you know, there are some people in this country who feel like we shouldn't be wearing masks. That's on them. But everybody, please wear a mask. All right, y'all, I'm up out of here. Yeah.